Hi everybody, this is Scott Allen Brown with an update regarding the Penguins broadcaster situation at Root Sports. And I can tell you guys right now that the news is not good. In fact, I am angry and disgusted by what I heard today. And it just makes me sick right down to my stomach. Now, according to the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, Root Sports has signed Paul Steigerwald and Bob Airy to multi-year contracts, which means that our hopes of seeing Mike Lang back on television are dashed. I mean, why does it have to be? Well, I'm not really going to say anything about Bob Airy because I really don't have a problem with him, but why can't the people at Root Sports come to their senses and realize that there is only one true voice of the Penguins, that being Mike Lang? I just don't understand why they don't want to bring him back. Of course the network fired Lang back in 2006 and the channel went through numerous management changes through these past few years but it just doesn't seem to matter. Maybe the channel has you know too much confidence in Steige and they think he's a great broadcaster and everything well let me tell you he's not because Steige is without a doubt the worst broadcaster in all of hockey. Why can't they get that through their heads? I don't know. But Mike Lang is a Pittsburgh icon and is way better than Stuggy will ever be. Period. I mean, let's look at it this way. Root Sports has robbed Penguins fans not once, not twice, but three damn times now. They apparently don't care what the fans want, and it's pathetic. If they think they're going to improve the ratings for Penguins broadcast by bringing Stuggy back... Well, this ain't going to do it, I can tell you that. Well, I bet some of you people are probably going to boycott Root Sports based on the pathetic decision they made. And I'm thinking about it myself, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But for those of you that want to hear Mike Lang through the radio feed, there are plenty of options. And I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with singing the audio so that you can hear the radio announcers while watching the games on TV. For instance, I have a piece of software on my laptop called Radio Delay, which will allow me to sync the audio of the Penguins radio feed so that way I can hear Mike Lang call Penguins game when I'm watching the games on TV. Now, if you're outside of Pittsburgh and can't get the Penguins games on the radio, you can also use Radio Delay for internet streams of Penguins games either through NHL.com or the website of WXDX Radio in Pittsburgh, where you can listen to the Penguins live. That is if you have a PC and a laptop, of course. Now you can download the Radio Delay software via Dan Systems, D-A-A-N Systems. There's a web address on the bottom of the screen there where you can download the software. And once you download it, you can listen to Mike Lang call Penguins game while you're watching him on TV without any issues. All right, that is it, folks. I'm so sorry about the bad news. I really wish it was better. But anyway, please keep it here and don't forget to subscribe.